moment while they're straining, train your probe back. Sorry, moment here. We're gonna keep going over some of those warm up uh, sequences that you can do. We did a standing profile uh, flow warm up that we did, you know, obviously standing, where we're looking at opening up the hip and the expressive components that you can utilize while you're working out, lunging, spotting, you name it. Okay, now we're gonna take it down to the ground and get more uh, concentrated on the T spine and kind of the shoulder attachment in relation to spinal stability or spinal health or core activation. So, First one we're going to do is you can get into a sequence of rotations for your T-spine. Uh, I like to do this one where you're sitting back onto your heels. I'm quite tight. Best. In this particular position, I want to rotate up. Now the key is when I'm rotating, I'm feeling I'm getting the rotation through my T-spine as opposed to my lower back. Again, this should be about three to five repetitions. And I'm breathing in on the way up to space and mobility or uh, length through my T-spine. The thoracic spine to help add some more uh, oxygen throughout my body. The next one I can do as I'm flowing out of this is I'm going to be on all fours. I'm going to grab my rib cage, okay, and then again I'm going to rotate underneath. Back up. I want to focus on getting the rotation through my T spine. I don't want to cheat or compensate through the lower back that I'm not necessarily earning that rotation through my T spine. So what I'm going to do is once I get about parallel to the ground, now I'm trying to keep my pelvis from overextending and I'm just rotating through my T-spine. Whatever capacity you get is whatever you get. That's why you're going to work on it repetition-wise. Okay, and I'm breathing in on the Okay, now another one you can also get into is I can get on all fours and I can work on shoulder rotations. Usually the shoulder gets pretty uh, tight and restricted. Okay, and then we start introducing resistance and that can be a recipe for disaster. So it's important that you're creating articular rotations or articular mobility prior to introducing resistance. So an exercise like this can help with that. Okay, again, I'm looking at lifting the arm up, rotating through. I want to get that rotation where I'm not excessively reacting through the rest of my body. I'm watching my arm go through and touch down to that particular position. Now I'm rotating back up and over. Okay, and again, I'm taking deep breaths, helping me create some space through the shoulder girdle and all the attachments have to stay relatively stable or aligned when creating shoulder.